Live from the WTXL studios, this is ABC 27's News Weekend Edition. Two Tallahassee police officers are on paid administrative leave after another officer involved shooting the third this year. Officers say at least one of them shot a man who was resisting arrest. Good evening, I'm Christina Resnack. Thank you for joining us for WTXL ABC 27 News Weekend Edition. Officers say it happened just before 2 this morning. They responded to gunshots at the 200 block of East Orange Avenue at Club Pierre. Officers say they found a man suspected of firing the shots, 24-year-old Jacoby Darnell Hart. Hart ran from officers who chased after him. At least one of the two officers shot Hart. He was taken into custody and transported to a local hospital where he is currently in stable condition. Hart has active warrants for violation of probation, battery, grand theft, and fraud. He's also charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and discharging a firearm in public. No one else was injured. Officer Derek Braxton and Officer Jason Ravenel have been placed on paid administrative leave pending an investigation. Today, Chief Michael DeLeo released the following statement about the incident. He said, quote, I am very concerned with the violent crime we are experiencing. I'm reaching out to our community partners to develop a comprehensive approach to this challenge. Chief DeLeo is also asking for anyone with information about the incident to call TPD at 850-891-4200. We'll keep you updated with this story on air and online at WTXL.TV. This Father's Day residents in East Leon County hold a benefit concert in an effort to keep it rural. It's hosted by the Keep It Rural Coalition, a group that is fighting a new gas station off Canopy Road at Crump and Miccosukee. This held this afternoon at the American Legion Hall. Performers included the New 76ers, the La Bamba Brothers, the Harvest Gypsies, and the Reichlich Bradley Family Band. There was also a silent auction. Proceeds go to the Keep It Rural Coalition. In your political news tonight, an easy re-election could be in sight for a number of local politicians who are still running unopposed. According to our media partners at the Tallahassee Democrat, candidates have until noon this coming Friday to qualify for the ballot. They can do so by paying a fee or turning in voter signatures, though the deadline for signatures passed last month. Candidates with no opposition will be automatically elected or re-elected when the qualifying period ends. At this time, City Commissioner Andrew Gillum is running unopposed to be Tallahassee's next mayor, and no one has filed to run against City Commissioners Nancy Miller and Gil Ziffer, Leon County Commissioners Kristen Dozier and Nick Maddox, or Leon County School Board members Maggie Lewis Butler and Georgia Joy Bowen. All of them are running for re-election. Sounds like a walk in the park for Gillum there. Just going to walk right into... Uh you know, becoming the next mayor. Here. Right, there's still a week though, there's still time, so yeah. we'll see what happens. I like how the Democrats report on that, it just sort of seems like, oh, well, maybe if you, maybe in the back of your head, if you forgot to sign the paperwork <laughs> there, yo, don't right. forget to turn in the paperwork there. Uh, so we'll see what happens in the next seven days. Over our next seven days though, well, you know what's going to happen here. A little bit of rainfall each and every day. We have some storms blossoming around the region. A little batch of energy that moved into the Appalachian Bay has since fallen apart, but we do have an aerial flood advisory for the coastline and portions of northern Franklin County and southern Wakulla County. Elsewhere though, we're monitoring still a little batch of energy that's providing some uh, lightning strikes, plentiful lightning strikes even, as you push into northern ta uh, Taylor County and Southern Madison County as well. This is going to continue to drift to the south, so Dowling Park and the uh, 12 corridor there. Heads up, you got some rain showers heading your way. If you got underneath one of those thunderstorms like Tallahassee did, well, temperatures dropped significantly down to 80 degrees. Thomasville, though, however, sitting in the low 90s. And check out Valdosta, mid 90s for you folks there, so hot temperatures across the board when it comes to uh, the summer like conditions that we are seeing around the region. All right, here's what you can expect for the next couple of hours. Temperatures steadily dropping as we head into the overnight hours. We will call for about a 20 to 30 percent chance for showers sticking around this evening and even into the 9 p.m. time frame. By midnight, we're completely dry. I think the clouds even clear on up there. Plenty of peaks of clear skies and uh, you can see that almost full moon out there. It's in the waning phases right now. But either way, going to be a nice night to get on out and do some uh, summertime activities. Maybe catch a June bug here or there. But e either way, looks like the rain chances are diminishing and that is the good news. We'll have your full seven-day forecast coming up in just a minute and there is more heat and more rain chances in that forecast. Christina? 
All right, thanks, Max. And your news across Florida, the former owner of a chiropractic clinic has been indicted for the murder of his fifth wife. U.S. Marshals say their regional fugitive task force arrested Michael Woschlager of Pensacola last month in connection with his wife's death in 2010. Authorities say Woschlager killed 59-year-old Shirley Seitz. But Woschlager maintains his innocence and says Seitz died after falling down the stairs of their Baldwin County, Alabama home. If convicted, Wolschlager could face the death penalty or life in prison without parole. Wolschlager was found, also found guilty of arson in the 1990s in connection with a blaze at his Chipley chiropractic office. A dog in Oakland Park survived a 14-story fall in an apartment building this weekend. The Maltipu only suffered from cuts and bruises. The dog is being treated at Oakland Park Animal Hospital following the fall. The dog's owner, Elaine Carolus, says she was visiting a friend at this condo building in Fort Lauderdale Friday night. They were on the 16th floor when she says her dog fell through a pipe. I thought she died, but I was calling her from the wall. And she was barking, so I knew she was alive. The dog ended up on the second floor after the 14-story fall. It took firefighters three hours to get the dog out. Elaine says she's just thankful her pup survived the long fall. Coming up on ABC 27 News Weekend, a reporter captures some amazing shots of a storm lighting up the night sky. We'll tell you when and where these pictures were taken. And a beloved radio host and personality passes away this weekend. How the world is remembering him. And don't forget to connect with our ABC 27 official app. Stay up to date with all the latest local news by downloading the app for free at the App Store and Google Play. We're back after the break. Our community is amazing, but we can always make it better. As a father of three boys and a cancer survivor, I am passionate about raising awareness for Kids First Fund. Did you know 91 cents of every dollar donated goes directly to research? FA has a direct link to breast, ovarian, and cervical cancer, as well as leukemia and lymphoma. By swabbing at a Merrow registry at no cost or donating generously to help Ethan Fisher's Kids First Fund, you could help save a life and a family. I'm Rudy Rowe, and I care about our community, and that's what makes Rowe Roofing a dedicated company. Summer's here, and so are the savings at Kia Autosport, where you can drive away any new 2014 Kia Soul in stock and get $5,000 off. Or take it home for just $14,193, only at Kia Autosport, where we want to see you in a Kia. Catch the Florida Lottery's Cash 3 and Play 4 exclusively on ABC 27's Weather Now. Nightly on Comcast Channel 210 or 27.3 between 8.30 and 8.40. ABC 27, your official Florida Lottery station. Here is your ABC 27 primetime lineup sponsored by the Florida Lottery. Celebrate Dad this weekend at Payonia's Father's Day Sale and get a free Weber gas grill with the purchase of your brand new three-bedroom, two-bath home for only $134.9. That's right, for just $134.9, you can own your brand new home near downtown Tallahassee and within minutes of renowned college campuses, all for only $134.9. Plus, receive a free Weber gas grill for Dad when you purchase by Sunday, June 15th. Call now, 877-888-7601. 877-888-7601. Summer's here and so are the savings on all new 2015 Kia Sorentos in stock. Come on in and get $6,000 off or drive them away for just $21,887. Only at Kia Autosport where we want to see you in a Kia. My name's Casey Kasem reminding you to keep your feet in the ground and keep reaching for the stars. One of radio's most beloved voices has fallen silent. Casey Kasem, the man behind American Top 40 and countless other pop music programs, has died. He was 82 years old. Radio personality Casey Kasem was best known as the host of American Top 40. During the countdown, he told audiences fun facts about the recording artist before the songs were played. It became his trademark. The police with the number one song in the land last week. Every breath you take. It's been at the top now for six consecutive weeks. The radio personality also brought his music countdown to television as the host of the 1980 show America's Top Ten, which ran for 13 years. In October 2013, reports surfaced that the father of four was suffering from advanced Parkinson's disease. In addition, his three oldest children, along with members of his family, alleged that his wife, Jean, was keeping them from seeing their ailing father. 
The U.S. Army has appointed a two-star general to investigate how and why Sergeant Bo Bergdahl left his base in Afghanistan, resulting in his capture by the Taliban. Bergdahl spent five years in captivity until his release last month. He returned to the United States last week to continue medical treatment. Bergdahl was exchanged for five Taliban figures being held at a U.S. military detention facility in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. The investigation is expected to start this week, but it's not clear when Bergdahl will undergo formal questioning. The identity of the general investigating the case has not yet been made public. Iraqi Prime Minister Nuri al-Maliki says government troops will be taking a stand against the insurgency in the city of Samarra, home to a revered Shiite mosque. Hundreds of volunteers are responding to a call to serve by top leaders. Volunteers say that they're fighting for Iraq. We are here to defend our country. We're obeying our religious leaders, this tribal sheikh says. We're not here for money. We're under attack, and we will defend all Iraq. There are now real concerns these recruits could be cut down before they reach the front lines to help. A car bomb killed two volunteers just a few days ago. Still ahead, a thunderstorm lights up a night sky. We'll show you more of these photos and tell you where they were taken. But first, let's get another look at your forecast with meteorologist Max Paris. Ooh, pretty lightning photos. I always like those around there. We had some lightning around the area right now and going into the next couple of hours. Could see some more strikes in that seven-day forecast as well. But now a live look off our Napleton Tower Cam at downtown Tallahassee, showing some rain off in the distance for our southern counties. But a sunshine right now in the capital city. Is Tallahassee under the gun for some more rain showers? We'll have the forecast coming up for you right after the break. Need cash? Need it in an instant? Then you need InstaLoan. Get one, two, even three thousand dollars Insta fast. InstaLoan offers signature loans, personal loans, and loans on your car. If it's Insta fast, it must be InstaLoan. Hey folks, Brian Sanford with Answer One Motors, and I'm here to tell you I don't care. That's right, I don't care if you've been late on your credit card, had a medical collection, had a car payment or a mortgage payment that's late. If you have a job or receive retirement or Social Security income and want a newer car or truck today, call 765-0042. That's 765-0042. Or come by and see us at the corner of West Tennessee and Dixie Drive or check us on the web at AnswerOneMotors.com. Constantly changing, rapidly evolving, this is the world of business. You can become part of this exciting world with a bachelor's degree in business administration from Kaiser University. Kaiser offers key areas of concentration for today's changing business environment. Whether you're looking for a new career or advancement in your field, call Kaiser University now at 888-309-4544. That's 888-309-4544. We are all bombarded with unwanted calls and text messages from businesses who don't respect our privacy. Did you know that you may be entitled to between $500 and $1,500 for each and every unwanted call you receive to your cell phone? The Telephone Consumer Protection Act was created to protect all of us from these pests. Visit ForThePeople.com to learn more. Let's fight back. At Morgan & Morgan, we represent consumers. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Need cash now? Title Max can turn your car title into cash. One to ten thousand dollars in thirty minutes or less. All it takes is a car title and ID, and you're approved. Bring your car title to Title Max and say, "I got my title back with Title Max." Titan Doppler radar is sponsored by Kraft Nissan. An intense thunderstorm lights up the night sky in Croatia. A CNN eye reporter captured these pictures of a storm that swept through. He says lightning strikes could be seen all over the oceanfront city. The storm also brought heavy rain and hail. Look at those shots. Those I know, very, Max, very cool. I know you love those. Yeah, you know how you capture the lightning effectively? Because it's tough to do on camera. It but is. A lot of the cameras now, and even a lot of smartphones, have an app or a sort of setting that can do rapid fire where if you've seen a lot of lightning, you're bound to maybe get one or two shots with a strike in there. But of course, those shots that you're seeing right there, gorgeous, and of course, you have to be a professional photographer there. I know I couldn't right. capture anything like that. Those look really, really I, cool. I don't think I could. Yeah, but of course, I mean, if you got a picture of the lightning today, well, feel free to send them on in, because we had our fair share of lightning around the area, especially if you're in the Big Bend, uh, and also to the Swanee River Valley. That's where we were seeing most of the storms. Since fizzled away, though, the atmosphere, uh, 
has sort of settled on down as we continue to go into the later evening hours. And now not much to talk about. Just a little uh, cell right now oh, into northern Taylor County, just to the west of Dowling Park and north of Perry there. And a little bit of light shower activity over the Apalachicola National Forest, drifting southward towards the Gulf of Mexico. Putting this into motion, well, again, not much to talk about. You see a lot of storms sort of fizzled on up, uh, impacted the capital city, and have since moved southward. And on the east side of the viewing area, again, not much to talk about. We had those storms trailing on in, even a severe thunderstorm warning to the south of Columbia County near Gainesville. That has drifted off the east, but overall, Rather quiet, sort of what we were talking about for your Father's Day. If you got underneath one of those thunderstorms, only lasted for about a half hour or 45 minutes, which was the good news. Also, if you got underneath one of these thunderstorms, temperatures cooled down significantly, only at 80 degrees right now in Tallahassee, 82 in Perry. However, you go northward into Bainbridge, Valdosta, my goodness gracious, those are really hot temperatures. And your heat index, or what it feels like out there when you factor in the humidity, is a lot hotter. Bainbridge at 95 was at 103 just an hour ago. Yes, breaking the century mark when it comes to how it felt outside. And Valdosta also very hot there, sitting at 96 degrees. So terrible conditions if you're not enjoying the summer-like fever out there. And that's going to be persisting. At least what is also persisting is quiet tropics right now all over the Atlantic Basin. Not much to talk about. Same conditions in the Gulf and the Western Caribbean. We'll keep our eye on there. And if you want to follow along with us, WTXL.TV is the place to go. Just click on the Hurricane Center tab. As for the open waterways, a little closer to the shoreline, some breezy conditions going into the beginning of your work week and some cloud cover out there, but overall, a quieter day. Winds out of the south, southwest at 5 to 10 knots, seas at 1 to 2 feet. Here we go, though. Check out the shoreline. Can't even get any cooling relief there. 90 degrees tomorrow. That's because winds inland will be coming off the shore, which is going to be bringing inland winds, which is hot air. So 90 degrees is what we're going to be feeling right along the shoreline. So you guys are going to be suffering just like the rest of the folks a little farther inland. Tonight we'll call it 68 degrees, a little bit below our average temperature, but still going to be very muggy out there. Tomorrow, tomorrow we'll call it 93, very hot conditions, and still could be seeing the threat of some PM storms. So overall, we were muggy, we were stormy today. High pressure and controls were limiting the amount of storms we can get that flare on up. And that's going to be the pattern going in the next couple of days, is that we'll have these limited showers and storms continue to fizzle on over. And we could be seeing and one or two of them be on the strong side, just like we saw in the eastern Swanee River Valley today. Here's your forecast and focus. I think by midnight tonight, right when you're going to sleep, getting ready for the work day tomorrow, you won't be hearing any rumbles of thunder. That's the good news. However, here we go, right into lunchtime, into, into the early afternoon. Storms firing on up in the Big Bend and also South Georgia getting in on some of the action it looks like tomorrow. As well. So we'll call it about a 30% to 40% coverage with the rainfall as we go into Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. Similar conditions there, but check out those temperatures ever so slightly getting warmer and warmer to midweek where we're back to 94 degrees, it looks like. And we keep about 30 to 40% rain coverage all around the area uh, heading into the beginning of the work week. So uh, I said it before, I'll say it again. That's a very typical summer like forecast there. All right, thanks, Max. Yep. Let's check in now with Dave Griffiths to see what's coming up in sports. Hey, Dave. Christina, when a pair of Heisman winners come together, people pay attention. Jameis Winston teams up with Charlie Ward in Pensacola at a mentor and leadership camp. Hear from that pair just ahead. Plus, World Cup Sunday. Two games done. One of them comes down to the wire with a very late game winner. We will have the highlights and much more coming up in sports next. Sunday, June 22nd. It's not just another music competition. You know those other shows where you gotta wait for results? I hate waiting. And the judges make all the decisions? Yeah, well, we flip that. It all happens live. Here's how it works. Download the app. You vote, and the faces of the voters appear on the giant wall. And maybe your face will be one of them. And you get a little taste of the fame. Live television will never be the same. Rising Star premieres Sunday, June 22nd on ABC. Be ready. Download the voting app now. Are you fed up with criminals ripping off or damaging your property? Are you frustrated by the growing presence of drugs in the community? Do you want to make the Big Bend a safer and more enjoyable place to live? The answer is yes. Please call or text Crime Stoppers. We want your information, not your name. It's anonymous, and we pay up to $1,000 for your tip. You may have a piece of the puzzle needed to solve a crime. Do your part to keep our streets safe.
Get in and go in Ford F-Series, the best-selling truck in America for 37 years straight. Now get F-150 with up to 8,000 in savings. Plus, military personnel, veterans, and retirees receive an additional 750 bonus cash for up to 8750 total savings. Ram doesn't crunch numbers, Ram crushes them. 850 pound-feet of Cummins diesel torque. 30,000 best pounds towing. 4,430 best pounds payload. 28 best miles per gallon highway. And one 2014 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Ram, the best towing payload and fuel economy out there. Current owners of competitive trucks get 8,700 in total values on the 2014 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. All right, Dave, so Jameis Winston keeping busy in the offseason. He certainly is uh, keeping busy with um, a really good cause as well, helping out uh, a former Seminole out in Pensacola area who is just coming back to the North Florida region. Charlie Ward, Florida State's first Heisman Trophy winner, is taking over as Pensacola, Washington head football coach this year. And this weekend, Ward brought in some help. The Knoll's latest Heisman winner, Jameis Winston, out in Pensacola. Winston joined Ward for a mentor in leadership camp, bringing together fathers and sons out on the football field. And that type of relationship is one Ward and Winston share as Seminoles in college football's most exclusive fraternity. Just through it all, you know, I just tell them about humility. Uh, in the end, humility is going to win out. So just be humble in your approach. Success is based on the adversity you face. So uh, I, I will overcome everything that happened. I just, I'm just glad that uh, Florida State supports me, and I'm glad that my team supports me. And uh, hopefully, we can have another season like we did last year. And Washington High got right around 50 people for the event. It was not publicized, so certainly it would have gotten quite a bit more here. And Jameis Winston was on the way. Tallahassee ASG Soccer's U14 girls squad entered today, one win away from U.S. Youth Nationals. The team advanced through group play at regionals this weekend, won in the semifinals yesterday, but in today's final, they come up just short. Chattanooga FC takes the 1 0 victory, earning a spot in nationals. Heck of a showing from this ASG squad, though, winning the Florida State Tournament, then making the championship here at Regionals. More in youth soccer, another local club, Tallahassee Tottenham Hotspur, hosted a Level 4 coaching clinic in town this weekend. About 35 coaches registered for the event, hoping to improve their knowledge of the game and advance the game of soccer in the capital city. It's an opportunity for, for coaches to be able to showcase what they've learned or what they want to learn going forward and into the game. We're really trying to reach at the grassroots level, so it's the, the U6, U7 year age, um, and really start to develop them. Start early, and who knows, maybe they'll wind up on the international stage one day. The World Cup continues this afternoon in Brazil. Two matches so far are complete. We begin in Group E, France and Honduras. Can Honduras continue a great start so far for the CONCACAF region in this World Cup? 43rd minute, France on the attack. Honduras is Wilson plus... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. I, <coughs> I'm okay. Takes down a man in the box. His second yellow card of the day. It's a red card for him. So Kareem Benzema steps up to take the penalty kick. He goes left. The keeper guesses right. It is 1-0 at halftime. Into the second half, France. The long ball into the box. Benzema is there. Gets a foot on it. Off the woodwork. Does it go in? Here's the question. There's the answer. New goal line technology at this year's World Cup says it's a goal. France wins 3-0. More Group E plays. Switzerland ranked eighth in the world, taking on Ecuador. First half, no score. At this point, Ecuador has an outswinging free kick to Ener Valencia. His head finds the back of the net. It's a 1 0 victory. The Swiss tied it at 1 in the second half. Now in stoppage time, very late in the game. Harris Seferovic gets the very, very late goal to clinch the win for Switzerland. Fifth team to come back from one goal down and win a game in this World Cup. On the pitch right now are Bosnia, Herzegovina, and Argentina. It's been a harsh welcome for the Dragons in their first ever World Cup. With an own goal just two minutes into the game, we are tied right now 1-1 one to one at halftime. Former Florida State golfer Brooks Kepka entered today's final round of the U.S. Open with quite the business opportunity in front of him. Finished 17th or better, entered a full-time spot on the PGA Tour. Well, he's doing his job so far. Through 16 holes of today's final round, Kepka has a two over score on the day and two over on the tournament as well, tied for eighth place. So he's got quite a bit of wiggle room to go into his last couple of holes. We will have an update on Kepka's final standing tonight on the news at 11. 
The NBA Finals could be decided tonight as the best of seven series resumes in San Antonio. The Spurs lead the Miami Heat 3-1 after four games, and now the Heat face quite the challenge. No team in NBA history has ever come back from 3-1 down in the Finals. It would require three wins in a row, two on the road in San Antonio. For the Spurs, just one win would bring their fifth title in franchise history. We're not so entitled or jaded that we're above having to fight for it. And that's what it is right now. It's a competition. We got a tough task, but hey, we're here. We're in the moment. And uh, do your best. Just go out and perform, play basketball at a high level, something you've been doing your whole life. Live with the results, man, and uh, go from there. Jimmy Johnson takes the checkered flag in Michigan's Quick and Loans 400 this afternoon. That win makes it three times in a four weeks. Johnson has crossed the finish line first on the Sprint Cup circuit. He now tops the chase grid with Hendrick teammate Dale Earnhardt Jr. in second. We rallied through that sports cast. We made it through, we cleared the throat, smooth sailing from there, but I'm going to need to get some water in just a minute. Right, and I know you're just going to go in your sports office, lock the door, and enjoy some and soccer. And keep watching the soccer. Night. Yep, the last game is going on right now, like I said. Bosnia, right. Herzegovina, and Argentina. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. We're back after the break. Our community is amazing, but we can always make it better. Let's help families find the American dream and a place to call their home. I'm Jeff Doxey, and I care about our community, and that's what makes the Tallahassee Board of Realtors a dedicated company. Our community is amazing, but we can always make it better. As a father of three boys and a cancer survivor, I am passionate about raising awareness for Kids First Fund. Did you know 91 cents of every dollar donated goes directly to research? FA has a direct link to breast, ovarian, and cervical cancer, as well as leukemia and lymphoma. By swabbing at a Merrow registry at no cost or donating generously to help Ethan Fisher's Kids First Fund, you could help save a life and a family. I'm Rudy Rowe, and I care about our community, and that's what makes Rowe Roofing a dedicated company. Only at TCC was I able to have access to the instructors, the education, and the machines to further my career. When I had certification in my hand, I felt proud of what I had accomplished through TCC Workforce Development. It gave me the knowledge and skills I needed to stand out to employers. The skills you learn match what businesses are looking for. always doing something with a cigarette, it can be hard doing it without one. But if you can relearn how to start your day without cigarettes, then you can relearn to do anything without cigarettes. For a free two-week starter kit of nicotine patches, call 1-877-YOU-CAN-NOW. Our community is amazing, but we can always make it better. Let's help families find the American dream and a place to call their home. I'm Jeff Doxey, and I care about our community, and that's what makes the Tallahassee Board of Realtors a dedicated company. Skycam brought to you by Napleton Infinity, home of the 289 Infinity. Well, according to Insure.com, typical dad jobs around the house are worth about $24,000 a year. The index includes common whole household tasks like fixing the car, mowing the lawn, coaching, and even squashing bugs. But the website also calculated the index for mothers. It found mom's usual tasks around the house this year were valued at nearly $63,000. Wow. So almost three times as much as dad's. I always feel like there's more focus on Mother's Day than there is on Father's Day. And that is a quantitative analysis of why that's true. You I can't suppose. just have a day where we talk about dads and we give them praise. You have to bring the moms into it. I, I mean, I love, them. I love moms. I love them. <laughs> but I'm just saying, we can't have one day. Just say, no. dads, props to you. No, we, can't. we should, but we don't. Hey, squashing the bugs, that's a, that's a big deal. It is a big me, deal, so. yeah. I have to squash all the bugs. That's not true. as you, much you as... squash bugs all the time for me. Not as much as what the mommies do, I suppose. Oh, well. Well, here we go. Yeah, so we have a lot of uh, active weather out there. That's the good news if you are liking the storminess. It's not allowing the dads to go out on the roofs and fix the shingles or paint the house because we do have those typical summer-like pattern out there with some breezy conditions and a little bit of... Uh, juicy air out there. Here's the temperatures over the next seven days. Back into the mid-90s heading into the work week, uh, 94 by Tuesday. We're calling for about 30 to 40 percent chance of rain. Higher chances if you're in the Big Bend of the Suwannee River Valley. 
For our South Georgia counties, we'll call it about a 20 to 30 percent chance over the next seven days we're going to be seeing again those storms boil on up in the afternoon hours and the evening hours. And those lows, though, very muggy there, down into the only upper 60s and low 70s. What do you guys think about those numbers there? They're still gross. They're still gross. Aww. They're only going to get more grody as we head in oh, towards uh, I know, I know. <laughs> July and August. So, um, very bad news. Get used to it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for joining us, and happy Father's Day. We'll see you back here tonight at 11. <laughs>